What's going on, everybody? It is Luke Beller. So apparently in the past couple hours, um, some news has come out that apparently Aaron Jones and the Miami Dolphins have mutual interest in each other. So I'm going to break that down, that entire situation in this video. But if you guys are new to the channel, I put up Packers content pretty much every single day, news analysis, all that kind of stuff. So if you'd like to see that, feel free to subscribe to the channel down below. So it came out in the Miami Herald a couple hours ago. Um, I have a quote here from the article. It says, Green Bay Pro Bowl running back Aaron Jones has the Dolphins among teams he's willing to consider, and the interest is mutual according to a league source. So this report started to you know, flow through Twitter as those kinds of things do, that apparently Aaron Jones is potentially considering the Dolphins. The Dolphins would also you know, have some interest in Aaron Jones as well. And so as a Packers fan, definitely would be sad to see him go. We've talked a lot about the entire Aaron Jones situation, the free agency situation with the running back. And I've sort of said how personally, I don't think the Packers should bring back Aaron Jones. I just don't think that um, it would be valuable use of our money just because um, I think the running back, back position is a little bit overvalued. And I just don't think the Packers should spend up that much at the running back position, especially with so many other needs and with our cap space situation being a little problematic. I just don't think bringing back Aaron Jones makes too much sense. And so I think it makes sense that Aaron Jones would end up with another team in this you know, entire free agency situation. And one other thing that was talked about in this article regarding um, Aaron Jones. So apparently his agent was talking with someone on the radio last weekend. He was talking about how Aaron Jones has spent the past week in Miami. Maybe that's just a coincidence, but then this is what he had to say when asked about, you know, could Aaron Jones potentially uh, end up with the Dolphins? So he said, Rosenhaus's answer, Drew Rosenhaus is his agent. I'm not sure. The Dolphins like their current running back group, including Miles Gaskin, who had a big year last year. Aaron, Aaron Jones is one of the best overall players in free agency. First class person, first class player. Just too early to say if the Dolphins might be interested. Obviously, they've got my number. We talk a lot about different things. For right now, we'll find out in a couple weeks. So it seems in the past couple days, maybe the Dolphins have reached out to him. At least someone seems to think that um, you know the Dolphins have interest. So taking a look at Miami, sort of their running back situation last year, they were 21st in the NFL in rush yards per game. So it would make sense to potentially bring in a stud like Aaron Jones. And just because I don't think the Packers should bring Aaron Jones back doesn't mean that I like don't think he's a great running back. I think he's a beast. He's definitely one of the top five running backs in the NFL. Take a look at his stats for this season. Fourth in rush yards with 1,104 yards, 5.6 yards per carry, which is second among, among running backs. So I definitely think Aaron Jones should get paid his money. He definitely deserves it. And I wish him, you know, nothing but the best if he does end up going with the Miami Dolphins. And when we take a look at the Dolphins, like cap space, they're a lot, they're in a lot better position than the Packers. Currently, they have the 10th most cap space in the NFL. They have about $22.7 million left in cap space, according to Over the Cap, and they still could potentially restructure some contracts and have even more cap space. So maybe they'd want to come in, spend big money on Aaron Jones. It definitely uh, could be possible for them to pay Aaron Jones the kind of money that I think he is looking for and that he definitely deserves. And so now to go into a little bit more as to why I just don't think the Packers you know, will keep Aaron Jones or should keep Aaron Jones, um, a lot of it had to do with this tweet I saw here. I put it out in a video recently. It says, take a look at the leading rusher from the last 12 Super Bowls and their base salary. So it has Leonard Fournette, 2 million. The highest amount paid to a running back, um, you know, leading rusher from a Super Bowl team was Percy Harvin, who I guess, you know, was sort of a receiver, but $2.5 million. And you can see there, Leonard Fournette, 2 million. Damian Williams, 1 million. So as you can see, um, having a high paid running back doesn't seem to be in the cards for these Super Bowl winning teams. That doesn't mean it couldn't happen. Um, a team could win. I think it's possible. But as we have seen in the past 12 Super Bowls, as it says right here, um, you know, spinning up at the running back position just doesn't seem to be the best use of money just because there are so many more important positions like the offensive line, you know, lots of other positions that are definitely, I think, more beneficial, more crucial than uh, the running back position. Plus, taking a look at Green Bay, we have A.J. Dillon, who we picked in the second round last year. Maybe Jamal Williams comes back. Maybe he doesn't. But taking a look at A.J. Dillon in last season, he had 46 attempts. I know it's not too much to look at. It's a very, you know, small sample size, but he did average 5.3 yards per carry. And honestly, I think he's going to be a beast in the NFL. So it makes that much more sense for Aaron Jones, you know, not to return to Green Bay um, coming into 2021. And no matter what happens with Aaron Jones, I wish him nothing but the best. He's a great running back. It's been fun to watch him play in Green Bay. And if he doesn't come back, it's definitely going to be sad to see him in some other uniform, not in the green and yellow. But, um, you know, I wish him nothing but the best in his career. I hope he gets paid. hope he makes a bunch of money. He definitely deserves it. But that's going to be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like it down below. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.